Portland, Oregon is an urban oasis of over a million and a half people, blending the beauty of the Pacific Northwest with the benefits of a busy metropolitan city. This was the land of Lewis and Clark and of the pioneers of the Oregon Trail. Now you'll discover the unique qualities of living in the beautiful Northwest. This is Portland. Hello and welcome to Portland. I'm Tracy Berry. I'm Joe Dahmer. I'm Carol Jensen. We look forward to bringing you the news every day on KGW Northwest News Channel 8. We take great pride in this community, and right now we'd like to help make you feel right at home by giving you a tour of the Portland area. We'll be covering a lot of ground in this video. We'll show you the terrific recreation that's available here, where to do your shopping, and we'll show you things that are uniquely Northwest. Then we'll tell you all about the weather here in Portland, what dining and entertainment is available, and all the sports action. We'll wrap up with information about local services, the rules of the road, and local laws. Before we get started, we want to show you some of the beauty of Portland and the surrounding area from one of the news channel's most valuable news gathering tools, our helicopter, Sky 8. One look from Sky 8 and you'll understand why our city has earned the nickname Bridgetown. A total of nine span the Willamette, including the picturesque Hawthorne Bridge. To the east, the skyline is dominated by a majestic view of Mount Hood. Headed the other way, Forest Park and the West Hills wrap downtown in a lush green belt. And that's only the beginning. The Portland area is a virtual mecca for recreation. From the snow-capped Cascade Mountains, to the Oregon coast, to the high desert of Central Oregon. Everything is available to Portlanders within a few hours of the city, or in some cases, within a few minutes. Here you'll find Washington Park's International Rose Test Gardens with four acres of roses, plus spectacular views of the Willamette River and the Cascade Range. It's no wonder Portland's known as the Rose City. Washington Park is also home to the Metro Washington Park Zoo, world famous for its elephant program. Packy was the first Asian elephant born here back in 1962. Since then, 26 more have come along. The zoo is also world famous for its award-winning natural environments for animals. Classic Oaks Park is a family favorite with carnival rides and a roller rink complete with its very own pipe organ. Oaks Park rests on the Willamette River. Notice that the correct pronunciation is Willamette, not Willamette. The river is a playground for boating, riverboat cruises, plus music and food festivals of all kinds. The annual Rose Festival is Portland's big summer event. Each June, the waterfront is jammed with activity, hosting naval ships from around the world. The three-week affair also features a number of family events. The Grand Floral Parade is the second largest in the country, right behind Pasadena's Rose Parade. The air show at the Hillsboro Airport brings more than 100,000 people out to enjoy some of the greatest air acts in the country. Hot air balloons fill the sky for three days of colorful flight at the News Channel 8 Tigard Festival of Balloons. Evenings feature the spectacular night glow and plenty of family fun. Be sure to watch the News Channel for full coverage of these fun community events. The best part about living in Portland may be all the things there are to see and do just a few hours outside the city. Your family can enjoy just about any kind of outdoor activity you can imagine on a day or weekend trip. And one of the most popular getaways is here, Cannon Beach on the Oregon coast. This beautiful and rugged coastline has pristine beaches that are all open to the public. Newport, located about two and a half hours from Portland, features the Oregon Coast Aquarium, home to the killer whale, Keiko. He became world famous as the star of the Free Willy movies. The aquarium also has displays in natural looking surroundings of wildlife native to the Pacific Coast. In the other direction, about 40 minutes from Portland, is the Columbia Gorge, where the Columbia River divides Oregon and Washington. The Columbia River Gorge National Scenic Area is home to spectacular Multnomah Falls and numerous other smaller waterfalls. This area is a favorite spot for day hikes and is one of the best spots on the planet for windsurfing. 
For winter fun, Portlanders head 50 miles east to Mount Hood. There are three major ski areas, Ski Bowl, the closest to Portland, Mount Hood Meadows, and Timberline. The ski action on Mount Hood rivals the best in the West, with skiing on the glacier through summer. Timberline draws visitors year-round to the historic lodge. It was completely hand-built as a WPA project and has a special place in the heart of Oregonians. Mount St. Helens, the mountain that gained international attention when it erupted in 1980, is located just about an hour from Portland in Washington State. Several visitor centers allow close-up views of the spectacular blast zone. From Sky 8, the views are even more impressive. Here's what remains of Spirit Lake, once a summer playground, now reclaimed by the power of the mountain. This mountain is still showing activity as the growing dome inside the crater clearly shows. Geologists and we at the News Channel watch Mount St. Helens carefully in this continuing dramatic story of nature. Here are the phone numbers and websites for some of these fun activities. From large retailers to quaint shops, Portland has everything for your shopping needs. You'll find downtown clean, beautiful, and bustling with activity. Here at Pioneer Courthouse Square, people come to lunch, enjoy concerts, and people watch. Downtown has several well-known retailers. Saks Fifth Avenue, which really is on Fifth Avenue. Meyer and Frank and Nordstrom all surround the square. You'll also find Nike Town nearby, providing as much of an entertainment experience as shopping. The trendy Knob Hill area on Northwest 23rd features unique boutiques, shops, and eateries. The east side has its own trendy small shops and restaurants in the bustling Hawthorne District. One of the most fun shopping adventures is outdoors at Portland's Saturday Market. It features handmade products, food, and music, and takes place every weekend from April to Christmas under the Burnside Bridge. For weatherproof shopping and access to large retailers, the Portland area has several malls. I'm here at Lloyd Center, which has major stores, movie theaters, and a great ice skating rink for both skaters and spectators alike. Other major malls nearby include Washington Square and Clackamas Town Center. Take down these phone numbers to help plan your shopping trips. There are many things unique to the Northwest lifestyle. One of the first things you'll notice is there's an espresso stand or coffee shop on just about every corner. And the coffee lingo is very important. I think I'll have a double tall skinny latte. Besides espresso stands, Portland is also the capital of microbrewery. Brew sampling has become a ritual in Portland. But remember to always have a designated driver. While you're on the road, watch out for bicycles. Portland's been rated as the most bicycle-friendly city in the nation. There are many bike lanes with bicycle commuters, bicycle messengers, and even police on bicycles. Two, one, go! When Portlanders aren't biking, they're running or walking. The city is host to several road races throughout the year, and jogging paths are as much a social event as an exercise routine. When Portlanders do slow down, they like to find a good book. They read a lot, and there are plenty of bookstores to provide voracious readers with a steady supply of books. Besides all the major chains, Portland has the one and only Powell's Books. Powell's is the largest independent bookstore in the country. The downtown location takes up an entire city block, and a visit can be an all-day excursion. Now you've probably heard the nasty rumor that it rains all the time here in Portland. Looking around here at Pitting Mansion, you can see that's simply not true. Well, not entirely, but weather is on everybody's mind in Portland. And at the News Channel, we have the largest staff of weather forecasters in Oregon, dedicated entirely to keeping you up to date on the weather. Our own weather anchors, Matt Safino and Joe Satilli, are here now to give you the real scoop on Portland's weather. We enjoy a very mild climate here in Portland. In fact, in winter, the average temperature is about 44 degrees, which means we usually only get snow or ice 
about once or twice a year. But in the event of snow and ice here at the News Channel, we will kick it into overdrive to cover the story and bring you the latest, most up-to-date weather forecast you'll find in the northwestern United States. That's right. We will cover the school closings if there are any, and there usually are when we get snow because we're not used to it here in the Rose City. And of course, it'll affect the commute. We'll have the latest on that with our vast network of sky cams that cover both weather and traffic. You know. You've probably heard that it rains all the time here in the Northwest. Well, that's not true. Here in Portland, we average time. about 38 inches of rain per year, which is actually only two inches above the national average. And the great thing about our rain, we do get a bit of it, but 80% of it falls between November and March, which means our summers are absolutely gorgeous. Summertime here is just about perfect. Average temperature in the summertime, for a high at least, is about 80 degrees. Humidity, it's always low, so enjoy, enjoy. When it does get hot, and we'll get up into the 90s and hit 100 about once a year, the humidity drops like a rock. So uh, we'll keep an eye on the weather for you. And uh, by the way, welcome to Portland. Indeed. When it comes to restaurants and entertainment, you've come to the right place. Portland has it all. While we grab a table here at Jake's, take a look at the classic and contemporary culture the city has to offer. Ready? Let's go. Opera lovers will appreciate the resident Portland Opera. Its descriptive motto promises an evening of passion, but no regrets in the morning. The renowned Oregon Ballet Theater performs classic ballets as well as innovative dance performances. Their season finale production of The Nutcracker is a favorite for children. Portland is also home to the Oregon Symphony, the oldest major orchestra west of the Mississippi, and features renowned conductor James DePriest. The Portland Art Museum in the downtown park blocks has brought world-class exhibits to the area, drawing people from all over the country. Regular displays include Asian, American, and European art, as well as a large collection of Native American art. A must-see for the family is the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry. Located on the waterfront, OMSI has several attractions, including the actual submarine featured in the movie The Hunt for Red October, hands-on science displays, and an Omnimax theater. Portland has been described as a great restaurant town. You can find just about any type of cuisine that you're looking for. And this is a great place to start here at Jake's Restaurant. It's a landmark in Portland for fine seafood and Northwest cuisine. But that's really just the beginning. You'll find Thai, Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, Hawaiian, even Ethiopian food. Your palate will be satisfied. And after dinner, don't forget to sample the nightlife here. This is a big movie town. There are all kinds of multiplexes, as well as several smaller art houses. And if you're looking for clubs, you'll have a lot to discover, from comedy clubs to intimate jazz clubs. And you country and western fans will have a lot of options if you're looking for a place to wear out your boots. Major Broadway shows and big-name concerts stop here. Many of those concerts take place at Portland's other Rose Garden. More about that in a moment. Now, get out your entertainment planner and copy down these handy phone numbers. Music isn't the only form of entertainment here at Portland's other Rose Garden. This one is home to the city's major sporting events. And when it comes to professional sports, there are three powerful words. Portland Trailblazers. The Rose Garden seats 21,000 enthusiastic Blazer fans. When the Blazers are hot, Portland gets Blazer fever. And the news channel is your Blazer station. Watch for great NBA action when we air their road games. The Blazers aren't the only team in town, though. The Rose Garden also hosts the Pride, the city's indoor soccer team, and ice hockey action from the Winter Hawks. Next door at Memorial Coliseum, the women of the Portland Power are taking it to the hoop. There's also the single-A Portland Rockies. They play at Civic Stadium, and the games are a real family affair. If you're a racing fan, there's horse racing at Portland Meadows, dog racing at the Multnomah Greyhound Park, and auto racing at Portland International Raceway. 
In addition to watching professional sports, Portlanders love to play sports. Golf is big year-round here at courses like Pumpkin Ridge, the site of some historic golf moments. There are 16 public courses within the Portland city limits alone. Our area draws several large professional and charity golf events. Local courses have hosted the U.S. Women's Open Championship and the LPGA Golf Championship. For girls and boys, soccer has rocketed in popularity. Almost every weekend you'll find families at games and tournaments, outdoors and in. One call to Portland Parks and Recreation will get your kids in the game. Now, here are the phone numbers for planning your sports activities. Before we tell you about the local services, here's a quick guide to getting around Portland. The city is divided into four quadrants with the Willamette River dividing east and west and Burnside Street dividing north and south. You end up with southeast, southwest, northwest and northeast. Neighborhoods range from the older classic areas on the east side such as Laurelhurst and Mount Tabor to the newer Forest Heights on the west side. You'll find that Portland has a number of very distinct neighborhoods and neighborhood associations that are very active. Portland has light rail and bus service, both operated by TriMet. Here on 5th and 6th Avenues in downtown Portland, also known as the Transit Mall, you can catch buses on more than 50 routes. Computerized television screens and kiosks also make getting around very easy. Light rail, known as Max, intersects the Transit Mall. In the downtown area known as Fairless Square, TriMet buses and Max are free. Light rail currently runs only on the east side. Quiet and clean, it's become enormously popular, and construction is now underway on the west side as well. The 18-mile west side extension will extend from downtown Portland to the communities of Beaverton and Hillsboro. West Side Light Rail will be a welcome alternative for those who work at some of the West Side's major employers, such as Nike and Intel. Everywhere you look, Portland is growing, and the Portland International Airport is a perfect example. From PDX, you can catch flights to most major cities in the U.S. and around the world on all the major airlines. But with more of you moving here with places to go and people to see, the airport knew it needed to plan for the future. The airport is now undergoing a major expansion and construction will continue until the middle of 1999. When it's done, the airport will be able to handle 15 million passengers a year. Until then, plan on plenty of time for arriving and departing. And try to leave your car at home since parking is limited during the construction phase. We hope you and your family will enjoy good health here, but should you need it, rest assured, Portland offers outstanding medical care. Portland ranks above the national average in number of doctors per capita, and there are several full-service hospitals in the metro area. The two largest hospital systems are Legacy and Providence. Each system operates three hospitals in the area. Legacy's Emanuel Hospital has a children's emergency room and also after-hours care that's available evenings and weekends. Dornbecker Children's Hospital, part of the Oregon Health Sciences University, specializes in caring for gravely ill children. Please add these important numbers to your phone list. Even if you take public transportation to work, you'll still need to use your car. Here's a look at the key freeways in the area. I-5 and I-205 connect Portland to our neighbors in Vancouver, Washington to the north and Salem to the south. I-405 splits off of I-5 running through downtown. For west side drivers, the main artery is Highway 26, known as the Sunset. And I-84, which locals call the Banfield, takes you east from the city. 
You can check our website for traffic conditions 24 hours a day at KGW.com. As more people move to the Portland area, our rush hours here have become longer and more congested. So to maintain the livability of the city, you're encouraged to find other ways to commute. Many people in Portland have taken advantage of light rail, TriMet buses, and riding their bikes. Shortly after you arrive at Portland, you'll have to take your car to a Department of Environmental Quality Test Center. Here, it has to pass an emissions test. You'll need to get a DEQ Certificate of Compliance before you go to register your car. It's all an effort to keep our air clean. You have to do that within 30 days of arriving here. Tags are good for two years and are much less expensive than those in many other states. While you're at the DMV, you'll also need to get your Oregon driver's license, again within 30 days of moving. And remember, liability insurance is required. You must carry proof of your insurance in the car at all times. Jot down these numbers before you head down the highway. Oregon is proud to have a very active citizenry. You'll find that during election years, there tend to be a number of issues on the Oregon ballot. You'll want to participate in the process, and Oregon makes it easy to register to vote. You can register at any post office, any DMV office, county election office, or here at the library. And you can register up to 21 days before an election. Recycling is a way of life here. Oregon's bottle bill means cans and bottles can be returned to the store to reclaim a five cent deposit. Curbside pickup makes recycling at home easy. Help keep Oregon clean and green. Portland has one of the most successful urban school districts in the country. Nearly 90% of all students attend public schools. Children who turn six years old on or before September 1st attend first grade. To register your child, you must show a birth certificate or other proof of age, proof of residence, and an immunization record. Oregon law requires that children be immunized for diphtheria, whooping cough, both types of measles, tetanus, and polio. Children transferring from another school have a 30-day grace period to get all their immunizations. We hope this tape has helped you get acquainted with Portland, and we hope you'll love living here as much as we do. We think it's a very special place. Portlanders are proud of their pioneer spirit and also excited about Oregon's high-tech future. There are so many wonderful things about Portland and the surrounding areas. It's impossible to tell you everything in this short tape. But we look forward to you joining us here on Northwest News Channel 8, where the news comes first. Again, thank you for watching, and welcome to Portland.